Good morning, family. This is your friend, Mary Lee. Don't forget to put the dash between the Mary and the Lee. I'm on my way to Chase Bank. But, you know, they said a gift is from God and a surprise would, get, would kill you. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I say. I'm at 131 South Dearborn. Now, as you can see, nothing happens in my world by mistake. Okay? They are under construction. You remember the gold statue that used to be here? It is no longer here. I just spoke with the security guard, and she said that... Excuse me, ma'am. I'm doing a video. Yeah. I thought I'd be courteous. You understand what I'm saying? You see the red stair stairways, though? Now, I came in here years ago, and I came in here this year or whatever, but they barely wanted to let me in or whatever and stuff this year or whatever. Now, the one that I just said excuse me to was a Hindu Indian lady. Just thought I'd let you know that. But you see the cautious? You see the E-M-P-I-R? And if you look very closely, it could be an E. So they trying to, you know, reinforce the empire, I imagine. Okay? Now, this here is going to be a very sensitive and uh, important video. I wanted to do do it at uh, Dearborn and Madison, but, you know. It used to be a statue here. It was a golden statue. The lady did not have a head to it, but it had wings. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, they say, you know, Michael Jordan, he could fly. Check it out. You got Dearborn and Adams. Dearborn and Adams. Now, with that said, I like people to address me as Mada, your girl, Mary Lee. Don't forget to put the dash between the Mary and the Lee. Mada. You understand what I'm saying? Because I feel as though I am the mother or the mama and the daddy of my city, Chicago. Because a lot of them, whether they want to admit it or not, took after me, including Michael Jordan. If it wasn't for me, your girl, Mary Lee, don't forget to put the dash between the mirror and the leaf. You know, when Jordan gym shoes, you understand what I'm saying? He would have never, ever became popular. I got my first pair of Jordans off the streets of Chicago on 75th and State Street at a Walgreens. I was selling general merchandise at the time. And, you know, somebody sold me a pair of Jordans, you know, when Jordan had just came out, you know, for... $50. And of course, I wore them and they became popular and whatever. Spike Lee, you know, said it's the shoes. But it's not the shoes. It's you. It's me. And that's why at this Chase Bank 10 South Dearborn and Madison it is under construction. You understand what I'm saying? You know why? because 1967 is the year I was born, May 25th, 1967. And on the side of the bank, I already did a video about that. It's on my Facebook. I did it on uh, May 5th of 2016. And on May 8th of Mother's Day of 2016, I was arrested at a AA meeting, the mustard seed on North Avenue for so-called trespass. And I was homeless at the time because they made me homeless on May 31st of 2008 due to the fact you know of my child abuse story that I was promoting at the time along with my book Ryan's Poems and Metaphors plus one song and I distributed all throughout um, you know the city of Chicago where I'm from and because of that somebody didn't want that to happen because at the same time Barack Obama was you know trying to become president and if it wasn't for me your girl Mary Lee and it's on everything I love, he would have never became president. Okay, because they had to come to me while I was in jail. And this is the honest to God's truth. You can ask a white girl that was locked up with me at the time. She would tell you. They came to me and asked, is Barack going to make it? And I said, yeah, he's going to make it. Because, you know, I needed him to get out there and do his thing so I could do my thing right now. 
because I knew my higher power wouldn't let me down. I hope his don't let him down. So you can see Chase Bacon's other construction because the truth of the matter is, you know, they trying to cover up everything, you know, pertaining to me, your girl, Mary Lee. So this is Chase Towers. This is 10 South. Dearborn and Madison. I got my Bulls hat on. I paid five dollars for the hat, but the colors, I just I put that in there, and that's what they're after. They're after my designs, my wraps, my everything and stuff. So yeah, I did a um, I did a story before I went to jail in 2016. Oh, check it out. They must have heard me. See? But they put it back. Hold it up. Hold it up. See? When I catch them, they put it back. See the 1967? You see it? See, this thing is, they try to uh, make it seem as though I'm crazy, but I know I'm not. Because they, all they did was start reconstruction on the other side because... You know, I had made another video saying they had covered it up. And they did. They covered it up. But then they un unveiled it or whatever and stuff. There's the camera, so we're going to make sure they got me this time. Okay? See, this is all about trying to make your girl look crazy and stuff. And you know I'm not crazy. So, yeah. Take a good look at it. This is going out to all my real ballers out there. Hello, Harris. I don't know if you're on my side or not, but I spoke highly of you in my book, Award of the State Slash Coming Out Hard. I considered you my Micah Jordan, you know, as far as the girls are concerned. I no longer feel that way because I feel as though I'm Michael Jordan as far as the girls are concerned. So, but still in all, it still goes out to uh, Pilar Harris. I hope you're my friend. I really do because, you know, my back is against the wall. I have a meeting on the 21st with the program that I'm at called Feather Fist. And uh, it's on the it's on Friday. And Sarah Circle, they have a, a staff meeting also on the 21st. And, uh, you know, you know my P.O. Box is up there where you stay at, you know, on Howard. So, you know. You know, I know your story and you know mine. But when I saw you at um, Rogers Park, the AA meeting, I was wondering, how did you know I was in there? Because it's supposed to be anonymous. But I didn't say anything. But when I seen you at, um, I'm talking about Pilar Harris now. But when I saw you at the uh, Social Security office, you know, on Lawrence up north, you know, I, I found that to be very, very, you know, strange yeah Pilar Harris back in the day for those who don't know she played basketball very well but I couldn't play basketball at the time and she used to play so much you know she you know I could never beat her and stuff she would make me cry I was you know I was a teenager at the time and I don't really like losing and stuff but I don't mind losing if I feel as though you know it's even but if it's not even and you're just trying to beat me and you know you know that I'm not good at what I do then I have a problem with that you understand what I'm saying and she knew I couldn't play basketball so that's when I learned how to play pool and left her right where she was at on the court by herself because I don't like people playing with my emotions and stuff real talk but um yeah she told me some things transpired later on in her life that was not you know uh conducive to her health you know she said a man had you know some men or whatever had taking advantage of her because of the way she looks you know and that's what this all boils down to you know people that look like me girls real girls that were born girls not transgenders we talk real girls you know they don't want us to be ourselves because they want to become us by using us to become them which is us if you can understand where I'm coming from so I'm standing up for you know all the Lisa Leslie's and the uh, you know, Cheryl Swoops and, you know, the aggressives that look like me. Now, I personally, 
I, I like wearing hats, don't get me wrong. But I prefer my natural hair, but because they have sent me through the ringer so much, you know, my hair is damaged, you know, and um, that's part of, I guess, the hell I have to go through. But yeah, I'm glad to see that this 1967 is back up and running. But uh, I believe it's only because I did a video, I did three videos at this spot. And, um, you know, they wanted to make sure that, you know, you know, you know, I look crazy, but I'm not crazy. So that's why I got up early this morning. It is almost 8.15. Oh, well, my clock is wrong, but hey, it's still early. It's about 8 o'clock. And... You know, it was early the last time I did it, but I was homeless at the time. I was homeless at the time. And um, I believe they're trying to make me homeless again, you know, with this meeting that I have to go to um, on the 21st, which is Friday, September 21st of 2018 this year. So, yeah, I'm on Dearborn to prove it to you. Dearborn. And Madison. Okay? Now, the last time I did a video here, this here garbage can had, um, it had Elvis Presley, you know, on the garbage can. You yeah, understand what I'm saying? Now they got some Spanish stuff up there, you know. Yeah, so to wrap it up, basically, I just want to say to all my real Mary Mac admirers, don't be, forget to put the uh, dash between the Mary and the Mac. You know, hold on. Don't give up because it ain't over yet. And for you new uh, people that's trying to take over my legacy without working hard like my team did, see, we worked hard for real, for real. You understand what I'm saying? We worked real hard. We wasn't playing. We didn't cheat. We didn't cheat. I didn't have to cheat. And for those who didn't cheat, I take my hat off to you because, you know, you know what they say, cheaters never win. And for the ones who cheating, I'm serious about mine. So I put my hat to the back to let you know I came out the blue. You know what I'm saying? To tell my story for real for real what you thought i was just gonna let y'all just take over my city chicago you know especially america and my name is mary america i don't think so it don't work like that you understand what i'm saying so the new spelling of chicago is c my fault s-h-e-c-a-r-g-o that's the new spelling for all my real mary mac fans for real for real don't forget to put the dash between the mary and the mac okay but uh, we take we take it all. Chicago, Chicago. We're going to make it do what it do. So uh, for all you slick heads out there, real talk, you can't beat my crew. So we true to the game for real. So, yeah, come down here and see it for yourself. And uh, they still under construction either way. You understand what I'm saying? They just got through with this one. That's all. And, you know, they try to throw it. They try to uh, throw, throw me for a loop or whatever because of that video I did on uh, May 8th, or, um, my fault, May 5th of 2016. They knew I would come back and they, they wanted people to feel as though, you know, when I go to the uh, meeting Friday, that I was crazy. But I ain't crazy, because either way, I'm gonna win. Look, 1967, okay? You see it for yourself. And if you flip this six right here and make it a nine, that's 1997, my sobriety date. Christmas of 1997. Either way it goes, I'm a she-ro. So don't say, you know, I ain't come for y'all. For real, for real. And all these new people had to do was take off their hat and pull up their pants. But they really thought they was going to clown us and stuff. And you know how I get out, man. I don't stop until I drop. For real, for real. You understand what I'm saying? And I advise you not to do the same. If it's your name that you think somebody is trying to claim. Michael Jordan, Step your game up. Because it was me on King Drive 
playing with them boys for real, for real at Washington Park playing basketball. I've never been to a Michael Jordan game in my life. 